Hey guys, how we doing? So, today I want to try this engraving on this glass. So, this is a frame that I got off of Amazon. And it says, keep life simple. Oh my God, guys. Keep life simple. So, what I'm going to do today is I am going to engrave on this glass. So, this comes right out of here. And there's two, oh, there's two glasses. Oh, cool. So, I want to engrave on this glass an image that I got and First off, what I want to do is I want to come and spray paint it. I'm not sure if I want to use this black metallic one or this gloss black one. And what I'm going to do is take it outside and just put a light coat on it. So I'm going to go outside. I'm going to give this a spray paint. I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to come back to engrave my image. So let's go spray paint this. Okay, guys. So I'm outside and it is a beautiful day. I'm going to put my glass down. And then we are going to spray paint this gloss black on it. So let me go ahead and shake it up a little bit. And then I'm just going to lay a light coat on top. And you'll still be able to see through it. Just a very light coat. And then I'm going to put this one on the side and let it dry. And then I'm going to come in with the other one to spray paint it the metallic to see which one I would like to use. Okay, so here goes the second glass that I'm going to spray paint to find out which one I'm going to use first. So this is the metallic smothered or smoltered metallic paint. Man, that metallic black looks so good. Okay, guys, so this is the image that I am going to try to engrave on the glass. And I thought this image is beautiful. It tells you so much. And it's so amazing. So we are going to try to engrave that on the glass after I spray paint. Okay, guys, so I went outside and I spray painted my glass and here goes. This is the gloss black and this one is the metallic black. And I think both of them came out pretty good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head over to my Glowforge. I'm going to set my image in my design and we are going to start to engrave this. So let's go. Okay, for those of you that are having trouble, I have a hack. Use a piece of white cardstock or any other different color paper and put it on all four corners of your glass and then you can see exactly where to place your image because since I spray painted the glass black I really can't see it on the frame now once you have your image where you want it lined up now you want to take those papers out of the way because they will burn so I am getting ready to engrave my image. Now, I'm getting ready to press to engrave this. And this is going to take 46 minutes. So, I'm going to fast forward this. Let you see how it engraves. And when it's all done, we're going to head back to the table so you can see what it looks like. So, let's press the button. There you go. 
So here I go engraving the image on the glass and it looks really good. It's all frosted the way I want it. So let's cross our fingers that after I wipe it, the image stays because I did spray paint this. So it's taking a thin layer of the paint off. But overall, it's not looking too bad. Okay, guys, look at that. We are all done. So now, let's take it out. Look at what it looks like. And now, let's head back to the table. Okay, guys, so we're back at the table, and here goes my glass image. Now, it seemed like it didn't do much of what I wanted, but, so I have these towels, and now, we are going to set this on the side, and let's wipe this up and see how it came out. Okay, so it took a lot of the soot off. So now let's see how this looks. Now it really don't look like much. And I'm hoping that the image frosted it. So let's turn it around. Oh, it looks like nothing. <laughs> so now... It looks like it's see-through, and it looks like it ha barely has an image. So, what I'm going to do is I have a piece of white cardstock and black cardstock, and I'm going to see what's the color difference for it to show. So, that's what the white one looks like. And for the black one, the black one looks better. It looks more frosted. So let me cut down my paper. And I have the other glass that goes with this that I'm testing. So Instead of me using the black paper, let's see how this works. Oh, it don't look that bad. But I'm still going to put the black paper in. And I'm going to put this together. Then these were down here holding it. So now, I'm going to go and insert my... And then I have these clips that go right here. And that holds the glass in place. I have another one, but it's in the box over there with the other ones that I have. Okay, guys. So I put it on right. Okay, guys. So there goes my photo. So let me bring you guys down. And that's what my image looks like. It did not come out that bad. Now that I put a piece of uh, black uh, cardstock behind it, it looks pretty good. I mean, it don't look that bad. And then it kind of frosted the glass. I don't know if you guys can see how it frosted it. I definitely like the fact I will definitely try this again, but with a more detailed image. Oh my God, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So, thank you so much for watching. This is my project for today. I really hope you guys enjoy. Definitely thumbs up if you like my video or my content. 
if you haven't considered subscribing please consider subscribing and when you do don't forget to press that notification bell and until next time oh and if you guys would like to come and join my facebook group crafty peep sanctuary come on down share your projects and meet new people that do the same things you do which is in the same mindset because when you talk to other people that don't do what we do guys they look at us crazy <laughs> they look at us so crazy so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again bye now i just love it look at that Wow. Okay, guys. Bye.